first giving honor and glory to God who is ahead of my life. It is only because of him that I live, move, and have my being. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. This is Shantara. I pray that you are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing, holding on to hope and faith, you guys. I just had something drop in my spirit really quick that I wanted to share with you. I want to tell you to stop beating yourself up. Stop beating yourself up. Stop beating yourself up about <clears throat> falling short of the glory of God or making a mistake that you made once before or, you know, going back to a situation and all it did was prove your spirit and your inner man to be right in the first place. Like going back to a situation only proved why you left the situation in the first place. You know what I'm saying? And so now you sit in and you sit and you feel so much regret and you feel so much like, oh my goodness, I shouldn't have did that. I failed God. You know, I, I thought this was what it was. I, you know, I, I, I I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm, ugh, I'm just irritated with myself. I'm, you know, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I fell for it. I can't believe, you know, I, I, I went backwards. I can't believe, you know what I mean? I said I wouldn't do something and I slipped up. You know what I'm saying? I did it and I'm, you know, I just, I, I just can't get it right. I want you to know, God is wanting you to know that until you leave this earth, you're gonna make mistakes. Until you leave here, you are going to fall short of the glory of God. Until you leave here, you are going to be unworthy to unbuckle the very straps on his sandal. Until you leave here, you are going to smell like a carcass in the nostrils of God. Until you leave here. God is saying that he does not want you to continuously beat yourself up about the mistakes and the wrongdoings and the times that you fall short. He is saying in this moment and in this hour, he wants you to repent of it, turn away from it, say, Lord, I, yes, I messed up. Take full accountability. Yes, I messed up. Yes, I opened the door to the enemy. Yes, now I'm back in, on square one. I took 10 steps forward. Now I'm back. Yes, I'm upset at myself. Yes, I'm mad at myself. Go through the emotions. Do whatever you have to do. But God is saying today to give yourself grace and to turn away repent from that thing and turn away and move forward. And as you move forward, God is going to give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You learn from your mistakes. The problem is, the problem becomes when we continue to do the same thing over and over and over and we don't learn from our mistakes. Yes, you might have to deal with this thing three, four, or five times before you finally break free from it. Yes, you might slip in that thing two, three times before you actually break free from it, but it's in the repenting every single time. Every single time you repent, you turn away and you move forward. You dust yourself off, you repent, you get back up and you move on. Do not allow the enemy to play games with you and make you think that you are less than, that you can't get it right, that you ain't gonna never get it right because you keep fighting this thing and fighting this thing. Some battles take more than once. Some battles take more than twice. Some battles take more than three times for you to win them and to overcome. It does not mean that you're not making progress in the steps that you're taking. The devil is a liar. He's a liar. Yes, you said you wouldn't do it again. You slipped up and you did it. It's not. It's okay. Repent. Father God, I'm sorry. Father God, please forgive me. I repent of this thing. Help me. Help me shake this thing. Help me. Help me. When pornography was being broken off of me, it took some time. Every time I would do it, I had to repent. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And then I would move on and it would take longer for me to have a slip up. Father God, I repent. Please forgive me. I don't want to do this. It would take longer and now I don't, I'm free from it. I don't have to watch it. So don't beat yourself up about the slip ups and the mistakes that we're making because we're human. 
in my weakness, God is made perfect in my weakness. It's him who covers you when you fall. It's him in his blood and what he sacrificed on the cross that covers you when you make mistakes. Shall we continue in sin because grace abounds? God forbid. We don't just use his grace and his mercy because it's there. We don't just say, okay, yeah, I can live any kind of way I want. And I can just ask for forgiveness anytime. No, God knows your heart. He's, he's judging you by based on your heart. He knows that when you make these mistakes that you, you're making them out of, you know, just living life and trying and trying your best and learning and growing and slipping and falling. And that's a part of growth. It's a part of growing. It's a part of learning. It's a part of elevating. It's all a part of those things. So God is saying today, to stop beating yourself up about the mistakes that you have made while you're moving forward into greatness. It's not going to look perfect. You're not perfect. We're not perfect. And don't let no religious person or nobody that's being used by the enemy knowingly or unknowingly try to tell you anything different. We're imperfect human beings and we strive for perfection. That means we put forth... I'm spitting... That means we put forth the effort and the energy and we put forth and we make the steps and we strive every day to do what is right. We wake up, we get our heart right, we go before God, we ask him to help us in our daily in our daily actions, in our daily words and what we're doing and what we're, and how we're going about. You're gonna you're gonna miss the mark every day. You're not God. You're gonna miss the mark. So we ask for forgiveness. We ask him to repent. We do not seek retaliation. We do not, you know, try to get vengeance on other people. Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for the part I played. Forgive me for what I did. Forgive me. Forgive me, Father God. Teach me, show me, grow me, and walk with me each and every step of the way while I'm trying to get this thing right. God knows your heart. Don't allow the enemy to play with you and make you think that you're no good or you're less of a person or you said you wasn't going to smoke weed. You've been you been weed free for three months, two months. And all of a sudden, you know, you a situation happened. You slipped up and you smoked and look, Lord, help me. It's been a long time since I haven't. You know, I'm going through some things in my mind and, you know, please help me. Forgive me. Forgive me. You you walking with me on this thing and this is what you want me to let go. Talk to God on what he wants you to let go because everybody is different. Everybody is different. Everybody's walk is personal. Everybody's walk is a, a separate relationship with God. Some things he'll allow some people to do. Some things he don't want others people to do. You got to figure that out with, with the Lord and be okay with it. So if that's something that he wants you to give up and you found yourself did it and you slipped up and you repent, Lord, help me. I don't know what it is. It's been these months. I slipped up. I did it. Okay, now can you show me? And keep, you dust yourself off. You repent and you keep moving forward. You keep moving forward and you will find yourself shortly thereafter. It'll, he'll cut it off more and more and more and more as you're fighting this battle until you become free from this thing. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. He's working with you. To God be the glory. Don't let the enemy play with you. To God be the glory. He is still on the throne. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. May you be protected in Psalms 91 protection. May you be protected. May you be protected while you are walking with God with an upright heart. Don't allow the enemy to play with you. He's a liar. He's a liar and there is no truth in him and he can't do nothing but lie. You're not taking advantage of God's grace and mercy on the throne. But what you are doing is allowing what he did for you on that cross to cover you when you fall. And to have peace about it. And to know that he still loves you in spite of. We are still Psalms 23 for the rest of 23. And until the next time, inspire, be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you. Good day.